Hello nobody and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Uh, I was playing some duos with Kai yesterday and I, I finally got enough lunar coins to get the, the artifact. You see right up there in the, the top left, 11 of these coins. So now I need to find the, uh, the little shrine thing. And we'll go get the Artifactor and try him out. So it turns out you actually have to defeat the boss after you trigger the, the shrine. Because Kai tried that yesterday while we were playing. She got enough coins and then went and activated the shrine after we beat the boss. Uh, and you, she couldn't go and, and get the Artifactor because it didn't. The, the portal didn't appear because she activated the shrine after the boss fight. Offer to the Newt Altar. Yep, one coin. So now that a blue orb has appeared after I defeat the boss, I will be able to go to the uh, the area where you can buy the artifactor. All right, so I've got everything on this map except for that healing drone over there. Uh, now I literally just need to beat one boss, and I should be able to unlock the artifactor. And there we go. Okay, now I just need to finish the teleporter. All right, that right there is completed teleporter, and that right there is the portal that I need. I gotta go jump. Oh, I have to press E. I have to press E. I thought I could just jump through it. Oh, take, me, take me, take me through, please, please, please. Okay, thank you, thank you. Whew. Whew. It was not taking me through. That was kind of sketchy. So now we are at the hidden realm, bazaar between time. Ooh. I have eleven coins still. Whoa. Yeah, it's the big Newt boy. There's a bunch of, like, unique items here that you can buy. Lunar Buds, yeah. And the, I think these actually unlock the items to find normally. I'm not sure. And then these ones are just, like, stuff you trade in to, to get for your current your current run. But well, right there, here's what I want. Free him. Pause. Free, survive. Free the survivors suspended in time. Wait, I can fight him? Well, I want to do that. Oh. I am not doing really any kind of damage to him. Does he actually... Yeah, he has a... No, his health is just not going down at all. Okay, then I'm just going to leave. Actually, can I buy one of these, or are they all two? Two, 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 two. Yep, then I am going to leave and die so I can play as the Artifactor. I'm standing still, and you cannot bite me. I have to, like, move to stay in your bite. Hey, no, 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 fight me, not that, God. I'm trying to die here. You right here, fight me, fight me, not them. Yeah, there, punch me, punch me. Stop fighting my drones that you are obviously not gonna kill. Fight me instead. I gotta go, I mean, I'll just quit, I'll just quit, I'll just quit, I'll just quit. We got the artifactor, Oh, yeah, so I knew he had elemental, so. Flame bolt, fire bolt for 200% damage that ignites enemies, hold up to four. Wait, so I can, doesn't mean hold up before like it can have four enemies on fire at once. Uh, charge up a nano bomb that deals 400 to 12,000 percent damage and or 12, 1,200 1, percent damage and stuns all enemies. Snap freeze create a barrier that freezes enemies for 100 percent damage. At low health, are instantly frozen if killed. Uh, so I guess I don't have like a sprinty type move. And then flamethrower burn all enemies in front of you for 1,700 damage. We'll go normal. Why not? I'm good at this game. Distant root. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, so I one. Oh, it has a cool oh it has a cooldown. It says hold up to four, so I can I can stack up to four in my inventory. Okay, that makes sense. Ba -ba feel my wrath. Wow, that killed him very quickly. I gotta find something to go use my other abilities on. Okay, I wanna try nano bomb. Oh, does this, does that do damage? It's like 400 to 1200. Is that based on, uh, awesome. Is that based on how long I charge it up? So, so you can charge that thing for a long time. I don't know, this is like a really cool character though, to be honest. Ah. I do, the, the, like, the charging up for shooting is kind of annoying, but I get it. All right, Lizard, you ready to get flamethrowered? Bah, okay, that's kind of a bit of a pathetic flamethrower, but did a lot of damage, which is really what matters. If I do extra damage to ice enemies, if I use my fire attacks, 
That'd be kind of cool. Boom. Nice. Okay, this is a pretty cool character. Can I hit this enemy in the sky if I use this? Oh, I meant to throw it at the ground. I didn't realize it was going to auto-release. Good, good to know. That attack auto-releases when you charge it up to full. So I learned that the Shrines of Blood that I said I was never going to use, uh, they're actually really nice to use because what they do is... It's flamethrower him. What they do is they take that percent of your health and it goes up, but it gives you money in return so you can buy things, which is very helpful. Offer to the Shrine of the Woods. You are embraced by the healing warmth of the woods. Yeah, so that creates a circle, and when you stand in the circle, you restore health, and it's very convenient. That's right here, because the boss fight is right here. So I'm gonna, I'll level that up before I fight the boss. Okay, these Sky Boys are not great for me because, wow, that flamethrower, it's really short range. Oh, the, the Noble Bomb thing shocks enemies as it flies by. That's really cool. I, I really like war banners. It's always good to have like one war banner around just so when you do level up, you get those little bubbles of uh, extra damage and stuff. More sticky bombs. Ooh, a rocket launcher. So I'm starting to think that uh, the those those shrines of chance they stop working at two rewards regardless of how many failures you've had. Is what my my recent paying attention to it experience has been. But there's not a whole lot going on in this world, so I think I'm gonna max out this thing and kill the enemies and then fight the boss. Uh, Beetle Queen. Okay, good. Something on the ground. Much easier for me to fight as this character. <laughs> Let's charge this up and then zap her with it. Hit her with some fireballs. I gotta wait for her to come down here so I can use my flamethrower and my ice wall on her. Beetle Queen, would you come over here, please? Come, please come fight me on my territory. Guess not. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge her and use my flamethrower. Whoa, she's like shooting bugs out of her butt. That is kind of odd. All right, this is. Okay, that does a pretty hearty amount of damage. Not not amazing, but pretty good. That, the mouse 2 button, the one that shoots the, like, ball, the electricity ball, that's probably my favorite attack uh, this character, because it's just really good. Beetle Queen is dead. That went really well. Next stage, here we come. Pretty Going pretty well so far. Wow, I leveled up again. Where I was able to go. Oh, I forgot to... No, that's the beetle guard item, and I forgot to get it. No, my beetle boys. <laughs> I forgot to get the boss reward item. Ah. Whoa, I, that to cast that way far away than I wanted it to. All these beetle... Big beetles make me sad, because I could have had... could have had a big beetle of my own if I had gotten the boss item. Ha! I got them both. That's how you do. Oh, and so if, if an enemy touches one of the pillars, even after it's been cast, they still get frozen, which is really nice. I want to, like, get a bunch of enemies all piled up next to each other and just blast them with that. That's what I, that's what I want to do. That's, that's a good thing to do to clear adds in a boss fight. Is just drop that right in the middle of them all. Ah, that's okay. I need to get better at controlling the ice wall, because it's really easy to, like, cast it really far away from where you meant to. Wow, look at the range of three war banners. That is just insane. Ah, hello you, crawling out of the ground. I'm just gonna light you on fire real quick. Okay, so that's really good for killing, like, uh, high-tier normal enemies, is what the, uh, the flamethrower seems to work really well for. Cool, I froze the fire guy. That makes sense. And I'm about to level up. I want to be over by the teleporter. Okay, I gotta get there quickly. Drones, stop killing things so fast. Ah, drones, you're gonna level me up. I don't want to be leveled up yet. Uh, level me up. Once I get on top of this bridge, actually, that would be the perfect spot because it's a, it's a sphere. The thing is a sphere. Yep, okay, now level me up, drones. Drone minions, thank you. Yeah, that covers such a big area around the boss fight. That's really nice. Where It's another Beetle Queen. Come on, Beetle Queen. You can give me a, one of these this time, and I'll, I'll actually take it. That went very well. But she did not drop me a Beetle Guard. I blew my chance to get one last time. So far, I'm liking the Artifactor. Not really sure what what niche 
uh, she fills in the game, but she's pretty fun. I think I think the artifact is a check. I'm not sure. Yeah, look, she's got the the boobies. So she is a whammy. The fireworks are really nice. I don't know if I had these uh, in the last video. I don't think so, but I think I, I think I unlocked them at the end of the last video. When you open, it says open chests, but really, if, when you interact with anything that like can give you an item or takes your money, you get. Uh, fireworks that shoot out and attack stuff so any, any sort of shrine works even like the teleporter activating that works and obviously opening chests and the more fireworks you, you like the more firework items you get the more fireworks actually get shot off and it's pretty cool it's like my grandfather used to say the bigger the chest the better the loot that's actually some really good loot <laughs> yeah you uh you slam into the ground after, after you uh jump and go high Oh, this disposable missile launcher is so much better than the crowdfunder. The the short range of the flamethrower is really my biggest issue with it. Like it's it does a decent amount of damage, nothing great, but it has a short cooldown to offset that. But it, like its range is just so short, you have to put yourself in a lot of da danger to use it a lot of the time, which is not great for a one of the, the special abilities in this game. Wax quail jump. Jumping while sprinting boosts you forward. I think this is the other item I unlocked at the end of the last video. There's a, a robot character, which is actually the first character I got this item with. But you can't jump out of your sprint as him. So it was kind of totally useless. They ran into each other and then got shocked. Then got frozen. Then got flamethrower. That's just a bad day for, for bison here. What I really want is the ocular HUD that I got in the last game, because that just like lets you do so much more damage, because you just only do crits for a certain amount of time. But it's, it seems to be the rare, the, uh, the second rarest of the uh, equipment items after the Prion Accumulator, which is that giant gun that kind of destroys everything. It's just a big worm. Come over here, so I can work on the teleporter while I fight you. <laughs> can I freeze the Magmorm? That would be pretty, pretty funny. He's like just staying in the ground. It seems like when you have a lot of drones, the Magmorm, the Magmorm and the other worm, the, the giant electricity worm, like they barely ever break the surface. They'll just do this little little move where they lunge out and then spin around a little bit. Freeze! Nope, you cannot freeze the Magmorm. Big surprise. All right, let's let's go. Let's go, Magmorm. Get this. Oh, I, mi I missed him. That went right through the loop in his body. All right, Magmorm has been defeated. I think that frozen enemies have a uh, like they have a, an extra little bar at the end of their health. Like it adds a, a section. I think if you get them to that section while they're frozen, they just die instantly. I need to test that out. It's, I've, I noticed it on a couple other enemies that were frozen, but I didn't, didn't connect that it was because they were frozen that they had that. All right, you demon right here, devil, devil. Ah, no, come, come here. Someone walk into my freezing barrier. Someone, please. Yep, okay, yeah, so see that little bar at the end of his health? Oh, I didn't get him I didn't get it to him him to it fast enough. Shoot. Yeah, there's a bunch of enemies right here, just gotta freeze one. Get him down to the bar. Yeah, I got him down to the bar and he just died instantly. That's really that's really nice. That makes that, that ice wall much, much more useful. Okay, Freon accumulator. That's all I needed. I think I got yeah, two two rewards for that shrine and it's empty, so I think my my theory is holding out there. Ah, there's a gold chest under here that I'd never noticed because it's right, un right under here. 3,109. I can do that. Easy. Right. Easy. Oh, yeah. Right right there. Oh, that was so... Per oh, that was so, so perfect. They were all just pumped up, ready to die. Ah, I didn't mean to... Ah, shoot. I was going to save that for the boss. I didn't mean to use it then. It has 140 second cooldowns. So I don't have any cooldown items. Ah. It's he goes. Oh, oh! This thing lets you die, and then when you die, you uh, you're not dead. I got it once a long time ago and forgot that I had it, so I died, and then took my hands off my keyboard and mouse, got resurrected, and then just watched myself die again because I was very confused what was happening. <laughs> not my finest moment in this video game. All right, what's the boss? It's an imp overlord. Easy, easy, easy. Let's. Zap him, and then flamethrower him. I don't think freezing him is going to do much other than maybe a bit of damage. And we go on through. 
Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Oh no, he's about to come. Oh no, he's so he's so close to coming. Okay, any 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 second now. He's gonna I'm how am I gonna keep keep this joke up? Alright, he's so he's on he's on the edge of coming. He's about to He's about to come for me. He oh yep, oh right, right, right. Oh yeah, he's coming for me right now. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Look at all my, my fleet of fireworks going off to fight enemies nowhere near me. Alright, boss fight thing. What do you summon? Summon a beetle queen. Why am I so high in the sky? Why? What launched me up here? Well, how did I come to be this high up in the air? I uh, very glad I didn't take any damage for that, but that was really strange. Alright, she has been defeated. Now I have enough money. To, I just need like 300 to open up this. I don't know why all these golems spawned around. Try to get the cautious slugs. That heals you, and right now I really need some healing. Yikes, there's so, so many enemies that spawned along with the beetle queen. It's kind of strange. It's a monster trap. I'm gonna just do this, because you're much more annoying to fight than most bosses. Because you are a boss. But, okay, yeah, my ability is, like, just taken down really quickly. Uh, the ice did a, a quite the number on him. Okay, easy enough. But now I just have tons of money and absolutely nothing to spend on. Alright, boss, what you got for me? What are you? It's a beetle queen. Hey, I just fought one of you, but now there's, like, three. Okay. We'll take care of the two first, since all of my abilities are, are like, AoE. So, it'll work, work good to take down these two. At the same, oh, I'm about to die! Oh, I'm about to die! I'm about to die! I gotta move away! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yikes! That was—I did not realize how much damage I was taking right then. Okay, one's down. One is down. Second beetle queen is almost down. Where I can't even tell where her health bar is. Two are down. Two down, and one at like full health, but it'll be easy enough to kill. Just got a flamethrower. Yeah, the flamethrower is like close rangeness is really its its biggest weakness. Okay, but the boss is dead. I have a lot of money and nothing to spend it on. I just want a beetle guard. Give me a beetle guard again, please. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave you all to, to do your, your own thing. Whatever that thing is. Whoa, I'm moving really fast. I don't know why that is. I have like a couple of... two. I have two goat hooks. Not even any like... Uh, energy drinks. I'm just, like, speeding along crazy fast. Oof, I am just, like, so, so fast and, and so jumpy. I'm, I'm moving really quickly, which I actually don't have too big a problem with, because it's, it's really nice. I, okay, so I, like, speed launched myself into the rock, and the rock shot me way into the sky. So I guess that's how I've been going on all these crazy trips into the air. Yeah, there's a beetle queen over here just just hanging out. Hello. Hello, ma'am. I need to ask you to uh, not be here or alive, to be completely honest. Flamethrower's damage is just like, it's kind of pathetic. I think the, the ice wall even does more damage than it. The ice wall does have a considerably longer cooldown. Ah, another, like, boss thing just appeared. This Doom Clay Strider. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna just, just go all out on him. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, okay, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. The beetle guard got me. Ah, I'm, I'm back alive. Okay, I definitely had let go of the controller like I did, like I described earlier I did when I uh, had this revive item. Can't place the ice on a, a vertical wall like you can with the Huntress's arrow. Sorry, I'm distracted. He's like in the wall right now, which is a bit odd. A bit, bit non-physics possible. I don't know what the right word to say that is. Oh, okay. I don't even know why I fought it. I don't have any like reason to have fought it. There's nothing I need to buy for four thousand, almost five thousand money. In fact, there's nothing I need to buy for any money at all. So I'm just gonna go fight the boss and. Move on because 
Yeah, the, it, like, if, if golden chests started spawning in late maps, it would be much more worthwhile, because you just earn money, and it keeps spawning practically nothing. So let's pre-on accumulate these two. Okay, I got one of them. Got one of them real good with it. One is dead. And two, two are dead? Alright, I got them both. Okay. So now it's just this lady. Did I just land on someone's head? I did. Flamethrower. Ow, ow, ah, 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 ah. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, ah. Someone's launching flame at me. I'm gonna just go take care of her real quick. Okay, there's a lot of beetle guards, and that's what killed me last time. So I need to make sure that they don't get over to me. Whoa. Okay, so they can get frozen, which is good information to have. Ow. Ah, there's so many beetle guards just chasing me. Okay, I gotta charge this up all the way. Ah, I don't know how much damage I just did, but I'm taking a lot of... Okay, why am I on fire or something? Why am I... Okay, continually taking damage. Oh, did I get her? Okay, I, I beat her. Whew, that was that was really close. Oh, now I have an extra jump. Now I can jump even more. All right, teleporter's done, so I'm just gonna leave. Cause I really gotta get out of here. Please take me away before all these enemies can kill me. Ah, I, I, ah okay, yep. Yeah, look, just tele teleport me already, please. Whew, thank you. I started taking a lot of damage right there when I was getting teleported out. Ooh. Okay, it spawned two robots instantly tracking my drones, which I don't appreciate, but it's understandable. Wow, even just these these normal stone golems are really hard to kill. And normally they're not, even after whatever stage I'm on and this amount of time. Like, they shouldn't be this hard to kill. The artifactor just, like, does not do that high of damage on her own. Ah, I keep thinking I have the disposable missile launcher and pressing Q to use it and using my prion accumulator when I don't want to. Hey, okay, now I have okay, I have fuel cell, which means I have an extra charge for my prion accumulator, and it recharges faster, which is actually really helpful. Oh, what, what killed me? I was just, just hopping around and I died. Okay, well, um, well that's the end of this character, the artifact, I'm gonna go back to the main menu so I don't have to listen to all that, that, that noise. Character review. The artifact, what is, yeah, wait, um, yeah, our, our, our artificer, not artifactor, the artificer. That sounds strange, I don't like that as much. The artificer is pr pretty good, definitely not the best. Like, I just don't know what, what niche it fills, she fills. Like, she does, like, status kind of affecting stuff, like with the shocking that stuns and the, the two fire attacks that burn and then her, uh, her, her freeze, so she has like status inducing things, but they're not very strong. So she, she's not great at killing enemies on her own and she's not great at kind of like building up like the uh, the engineer is. So I think that if if maybe her, her flamethrower, which is really her least useful item, like ability because it has such short range and just mediocre damage, I think if that was replaced with like a healing item that could be used on you and allies, the artif artificer would make a really good support character that worked well in groups but just as as the artificer stands really really not very worthwhile for using but anyway if you want to try out the artificer you can go through the whole process of getting lunar coins and and getting there you can, this game is like it's it's roguelike obviously it's different every single time you run so if you want to if you want to get it i'll leave a link in the description down below thank you so much for watching see ya